Everybody say yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody say yeah, yeah. another video so in this video i decided to connect with the original afrobeat i mean afrobeat is actually the biggest sound emerging from africa and i decided to connect with its source so here we are at the kuti heritage museum it's located in the heart of abi okuta it's located in shabo abi okuta now i took a trip to this place i mean i wanted to connect with me who doesn't want to identify with fella fella was not just a musician but a political stance and the voice of his generation even till this generation so walking into the house uh, we have the family house where they lived where they were younger so i kept walking in and just walking so on entering the house there are two what i say biographies of his parents i mean his mother uh, mrs olufemilayo ransom kuti who was known as the first woman to drive a car in Nigeria and his father um, known as Israel Ulu Dodson Ransom Kuti now going into the house it was quite I mean for an old house it was quite amazingly nice it has a very good structure so this is the part of the house where we have the history of Mrs. Olufumlai of basically the school she studied in how music originated in family not just her herself and her husband about the Kuti family and here is the um, family tree the ransom Kuti family tree so showing everyone right from their grandfather I mean Fela's grandfather so moving into the other parts I mean the other I don't know what they're just empty rooms because I don't know what was here before but then there are just pictures of Mrs. Olufumilayo, right? Mrs. Olufumilayo and some Kutsi, rather, and the house band. Just pictures of them, more like peak stories or something in that sort. So that's basically it for the first two rooms. Then going out, uh, I went to the, I don't know if I should call this a lobby or whatever it is. Well, downstairs there isn't much, it's just basically videos, a bit rather, news rather. So this is just news basically um, showing how many times the Ransom Kuti family have been in the news. I mean, I feel like these people were quite in the, noise, in the news a whole lot. I mean, and there's something I discovered upon going to this place is the fact that Fela learned about his activism from his mother. I mean, his parents, especially his mother. Just that Fela was a lot when I say uh, we took it to a, another level, yes. So yeah. So this is basically just news about the Kuti family where whenever they were in the news. And they were actually an elite family. I mean, they were quite well to do and they were beneficiaries of the West or first beneficiary or early beneficiaries of Western education, so I was told. So moving into the back of their house, I feel like this place was a little scary for me. <laughs> so I didn't really okay, so this part is uh, how the house the house was actually abandoned for a while and before it was um, rehabilitated so this was it before then the rehabilitation plan before it was rehabilitated by the government as a, a monumental uh, would i say site yeah because i mean it was a history or the home of the history of afrobeat i mean fella and nicola Kukuti. so yes this is the or this was the plan uh, which has been quite well executed Now going up the flight of stairs, I feel like this is the happening place of the Kuti family house as they had their furnitures from the time being. So here is the living room or would I say the visitor's room or living room? Just, let's just call it the living room. 
so you can see i feel like it was retouched a little bit uh it has a very ancient cd player i mean this family really loves music <laughs> and look at the rug has it's quite old but it has the you know the embroidery which was still exquisite for its time this was the first room i don't know whose room this was but it was quite something to behold they had quite well, I say an amazing taste as a family so yeah so moving out of that area I went to the next room or the face the next room yes this looks like a study I mean it was set up like a study so I'm guessing this was a study of either Bella's mother or his father which of them I really do not know so yeah so this was like a study Moving out of this study, so we moved to the um, corridor, where, which has a piano. I mean, this was quite something for their time. It's a sustained pedal. And this was another room, which was quite, I feel like this has a feminine touch. So I'm feeling, or I'm guessing this was Fela's mother's room, because it has quite a feminine touch to it. So I'm guessing the first room was Fela's father's, and this was his mother's room then it has another living room i think this is the family living room where they just you know hung out and chilled maybe then they had quite a taste i mean look at the ceramic set in the drawer or what i call this a shelf yeah whichever it is <laughs> so they had quite an expensive taste looking around look at the dining table and some other furniture there and pictures on the wall so basically that's the upstairs then i moved to the back or the, yeah, the back area of the upstairs uh it had a kitchen the kitchen was basically empty so it wasn't like anything was there then moving to the back we also saw the both uh, the bathroom rather and the bathroom was quite not bad i mean they had a bathtub for that time that was years and centuries ago so yes the fam fellow family or the kuti family rather were quite well to do so yeah so moving out of the house um i moved to the museum now this museum is to preserve the heritage of the ransom kuti family i mean this is the kuti heritage museum so yeah they're all about preserving the heritage of the kuti family well, it has a nice touch to it. It looks really nice. Looking around, it looks really nice. Yeah, the Kutsi Heritage Museum, like I said earlier. So I'm just giving you guys a view of the outside. Well, we're coming to the chill spot soon. So walking into the museum right now, the Kutsi Heritage Museum. Now opening the door, like walking into the museum, there is a family picture, which I am guessing was Fela's family. I mean, Fela and his siblings. Then the first part is the third generation. That's Fela's children and his, yeah, his brother's children, basically. His and his brother's children. So we have pictures of them. Quite a number of them. I really can't identify everybody, but then you can see some of them here. I mean, you know the prominent ones. I don't want to mention names, or maybe I should mention names. I mean, you know Femi Kuti, you know Shion Kuti, and the host of other people. So this I. So moving out of there, we have quite an amount of pictures of Fela, his siblings, and the Kuti family in general. Yeah, second generation. Now the second generation is Fela and his siblings. Now, Fela has three siblings. There were four children in total. Well, we're going to go into that soon as we go into the second generation room. So I'm just giving guys a view, different pictures of Fela taken at different times. Just Not just Fela, the Kuti family in general. I'm mentioning Fela because Fela is like the point of attraction in this video. So, but basically this whole museum captures the Kuti family as the essence of the whole Kuti family. So yeah, we can see Fela, Fela was quite not a bad child. <laughs> <laughs> was it so yeah so fell out his mother in the u.s and some other pictures of fella before 
he became you know an interesting person of note so I'm walking into this room it wasn't labor so i don't know what is wrong this just contained pictures of uh fella's family the kuti family rather not just fella his father and some other just prominent pictures basically there wasn't so much i didn't really go with the tour guide maybe the, person, the tour guide would have you know explained better so point of note please whenever you're going to this museum ensure you go with a tour guide i could recommend a really good tour guide for you you could dm me drop a comment or reach out to me on my socials and i'll definitely hook you up yeah so moving into the second generation room um, which has pictures of fella and his siblings basically their biography okay so uh this was where fella lived till it was yes yes actually if you like fella and all his siblings were living back to in this house fella had three siblings there were four in total yeah yeah no four i mean i just learned that today oh, yeah. <laughs> from going around the yes first is dolu she was a nurse okay. mother of um, frank kubwe a jazz artist the second is olikoye professor olikoye who is a health minister one time in nigeria and third is fella and nikola kukuti uh, that we all know and of course beko you know, all right that's fine so like olufela and nikulaku kuti the man of our time or of yes it's still over time because i mean it's a force to record with. so yes fella 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 so uh after looking through walking into the next room now this room is quite what i say interesting to look at as it contains um would i say animated um comic or pictures of um the struggles of mrs olufemi layora from kuti she was actually quite uh an activist and she was involved in the fight of the liberation of women empowerment of women and also even in the struggle for independence for nigeria as a country Okay, so since there is nobody to come along with me, I'm making a video myself, so I just show you this video. <laughs> so basically, I am in the museum. I think there are different generations. I mean, there is what? Okay, there is the third generation. I think the third generation is for us children. Then the second generation is here. Going in, you have all fellow siblings. Um, I think this was the first one, uh, according to our story. Then the second born, uh, then Fela was the third born, then before I think him. Yeah, so basically, these were Fela siblings and a couple of other things here. And I think on my mic, it would have been better. But then, so here is the Fela. Uh, okay, now I forgot what they call it. <laughs> The Kuti Heritage Museum, yes, the Kuti Heritage Museum. So, moving out of the museum, we are going to the next point of attraction which is the chill spot i don't know if i should call it the chill spot or an open bar it actually has a bar where people could actually come to hang out and it has it's open every day every day from i think 5 pm i'm going to attach all the details in this video all the details you need to know so this is the chill spot it's actually quite not bad i don't know if many people know about it okay so moving around and around so there was a part i almost missed out in this video maybe because i didn't go with a tour guide 
so i think if you're going you should we definitely should go with it's a tour guide so yes this is the part the garage now this garage houses a car which i am thinking belongs to mrs olufumlayo razon kuti maybe the first car that she drove try to make people see that holding people to ransom is, is an addiction. So why should I be bearing that name? Fella Ransom Kuti. I ain't no slave man. So I'd rather change that ransom to I have debt in my pouch. Anikola oh yeah, he, he actually changed his name. Yeah, no other person bears Anikola Po. No one I was just saying Ransom Kuti, Ransom Kuti everywhere. He is not Ransom. Fella Anikola Po Kuti. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, still give it a thumbs up. And you should actually check out the Kuti Heritage Museum here in the Shabo Abel Thank you for watching. Josh Mili signing out.